If you come to Latoka, please don't miss out on the beauty of Fiji. Take a trip to an island, get a local bus and go to a wonderful beach here, or go and visit one of the historic cultural villages. It's a beautiful place. You only have to walk one or two blocks back from the shops and then you can see how lush and green this island actually is, which means it rains a lot. And believe me, when it rains, it pours. This is me doing my River Phoenix from Stand By Me in the rail tracks. This is the only area you'll find working sugar trains in Fiji, in Latoka. We're not going to go into the sugar refinery to look for a train, but we did find the tourist equivalent down south when we filmed Bulaquo. The shuttle bus will drop you just outside Tapu City. As you can see, it's early in the morning and people are already going back. Latoka is a port town. There's not a lot to do here. The best thing is to find a beautiful beach, which Fiji is famous for. This is the entrance to the market. Let's go inside and have a look. So we're in the middle of local Fijian life here. Just one thing bear in mind, it's an insult to touch a Fijian person on the head. So even if they're beautiful children and they come around you, don't touch them on the head. Is that like uh, turnips? Potatoes. Potatoes. What is this? Is this ginger? ginger. I bet they're hot. Okay, be careful with this stuff. This is called kava and it's actually a hallucinogenic drug. So it looks like a bowl of muddy water. Mud. Well, you're not far off. It's a root that they grind up with water. It can make you hallucinate. It's actually illegal in some countries. Oh. <laughs> As in most Fijian towns, next to the market is the bus station. If you need to get a bus somewhere, just come here and ask someone. They're so friendly and helpful. Hi, is there a bus that goes to First Landing? First Landing? That side, that side. That side. That side. Classic bus, eh? What number is it? Classic bus, classic. Classic? Yeah. If you want to do a real local adventure, the classic bus takes you along the beach road. Opposite the bus garage, there's a supermarket, pretty close to the ones you find at home. Beyond the bus garage is Namali village, typical Fijian village. If you're going to have a wander around, it's nice to take a bag of sweets in case you meet any children along the way. This house is sensibly built on stilts. It's the first one I've seen here. And the reason they build their houses on stilts here is because there is so much flooding. Right behind Tapu City is the Churchill Stadium. And this brings back special memories for us because it's where we filmed the concert in the Bulaquo film. It's very hot, 40 degrees, but despite the heat, the game here is rugby and they're running around. Churchill Park, let's have a peep inside and see if I can remember what we did here. Laura Aikman and Craig Fairbrass stood in the stands and pretended there was a rock concert going on, but the stage was never here. That was added in post-production. Then we went round the back to the changing rooms. This is the um, second night of night shoots in Fiji on uh, Bulaquo. We've just done quite a big stunt. I've just been blown up. I don't mean blown up, I mean I've been blown up, exploded. It was just fascinating to do the blow up scene to get blown. I've watched them before on TV and such. And now you know why people die because you do feel your ass kind of burn somewhat. Not uh, every day in your life you get to get blown up. Blowing up a dressing room and Francis, Rick, uh, me and me all diving away from it and Craig just sort of shielding his face because it's hard as nails. Like one big huge one as we run off. So for now we say goodbye to Fiji, but I get the feeling we'll be back again. Oh.